stay in bed and stay cozy because it's cold outside, get out and vote. Yeah, just bundle up real and then quick. Get back under the covers. Run to the polls, that's what I was going to say. And then hurry quickly, get back home and get back under the covers. You can put on a pot of coffee in the oh. interim. We wait for get you some when hot you get back. Exactly, hot chocolate working because it's going to be cold enough for that. Uh, currently outside, it's uh, we're starting to cool off. Take a look. We've got this freeze warning in effect. That's how cold it's going to be. Now, this little purple sliver, if you will, northern Tangipaho, Washington Parish, Pearl River County. You've already had a killing freeze, so that's why the seasons effectively ended up there uh, because of the cold temperatures that you've already gotten. But this little sliver right here from Livingston Parish all the way across, of course, this goes off to the west, but here's our viewing area. St. James Parish, you're included in that as well. Now, it's going to be cold south of Lake Pontchartrain, but not quite as cold as, it, as it's going to be on the north shore. Make sure you protect those plants and the pets. Let me move my big hat out of the way so you can see that. Again, it's going to be that cold. So. Taking a look at the satellite and radar loop, no rain and hardly any cloud cover to talk about. There is a little bit of low clouds here across parts of Texas, but as far as uh, the cloud cover across Louisiana, it's looking rather clear and winds are going to be relaxing as well and that allows for optimal cooling. So here's where we started this morning. 32 in Hammond, 34 Baton Rouge, Slidell, pair of 35s along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and we're basically right around the upper 30s south of Lake Pontchartrain, 43 though in Boothville. We are going to be trending cooler by tomorrow morning and essentially we stayed in the lower 50s for the most part. We did hit 54 in Hammond, 51 at New Orleans International, whereas the uh, average is 66 degrees. So trending way below the average as far as temperatures go and currently outside. Take a look south of Lake Pontchartrain generally in the mid to upper 40s, 44 Bell Chase, 47 Lakefront, New Orleans International, but already in the upper 30s in Homa at 38, 36 Hammond and pair of 39s along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Still breezy around the lake. That'll help make it not quite as cold, but wherever you see the five mile per hour winds, with the clear skies, that's going to make for optimal cooling. Some more freezing temperatures tomorrow morning. We get a wind shift and seasonal temperatures as soon as Sunday afternoon. That's right, so it's going to happen quickly. And then rain possible on Monday. Ridge out to our west, this trough out toward the east. Eventually, this flow from west to east is going to flatten out. You're not going to get the big dips in the jet stream, and I'll show you in one second how that's going to play a role at the, of the, uh, with the weather down here at the surface. Clear and cold tomorrow, lots of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Where's high pressure? You see it bugging out, right? It's moving off toward the east. Now we're going to be mainly clear tomorrow night, but as we get into Sunday and then Sunday afternoon, notice what happens. A little more cloud cover, winds out of the southeast. That's why we're going to be warmer. Fairly seasonal, 66, even 68, 69 possible. And notice we're starting to see rain across the northwestern portion of the state. And there you have it. There's our next cold front. This is Monday at 315. This is going to get hung up across the area. It's going to flatten out and stall, keeping rain in the forecast again because the upper level flow is going to flatten out. So we're looking at upper 20s on the north shore tonight. Freeze warning in effect for most north of the lake. And then uh, we'll call it lower to mid 30s on the south shore by tomorrow morning. Mid to upper 50s, some sunshine, still a little breezy south of Lake Pontchartrain. And your seven day forecast. Take a look. Remember, go out and vote, bundle up, get it done. And then by 69 on Sunday and have a look mid 70s as we get to Wednesday, but there's those lingering rain chances. Uh, so while we're going to be rather cold tomorrow, we are going to be rebounding rather nicely and rather quickly.